Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got what I've been warming. So this is the video where I go through what I've been warming in my house through the last week or so and let you know what I warmed, where I warmed it, how it did, so you might decide what might work well in your house. Some of the stuff I'll talk about is currently available, some of it is not. The stuff that's not currently available is still fun to hear about, I think, because then you can decide what you might want to vote for in Bring Back My Bar next round, or what to keep an eye on in flash sales for. So we will get started with the bathrooms and laundry room in this video. And as always, I'm gonna go through the Scentsy Wax in my different spaces in my home. Then we will go to the things I've used up as far as like empties, like non-wax products. And then at the very end, we'll do some vendor wax as well. So in my master bathroom, I used a cube of Woodland Meadow. This is a currently available bar in the catalog. This is kind of, I would call it woodsy herbal is how I would describe it with a little bit of cologne. There is something just a little bit masculine here, but it's soft, it's mellow, it's grounded. It is nice for a bathroom or probably for a bedroom too. I would say medium strength. This one lasted for about 36 hours in my bathroom. Very nice. The, I would, this one has been sitting since it came out last year. And I would say the cologne note is coming out more now that it sat for a while. Um, so that's just something to be aware of, but yeah, overall it's pleasant. It's nice. Is it one I would repurchase? I'm not sure. I like it. I don't know that it's one I would get more of. Um, it's pleasant enough though. And I think if you do like those kind of slightly masculine, um, kind of gentle cologne type scents, that might be one worth picking up. Next, I have the Chase Rainbows Blue Bar. This one reminds me a little bit, this is not currently available. This reminds me a little bit though of Clean Breeze, which is currently available. This one is a laundry scent, just straight up laundry. I would say clean, fresh, like clean and fresh, but less floral than like clothesline, for instance. More just fresh with a little bit of a soapy tone, but not floral. I would say Clean Breeze is less soapy than this, but both are very fresh laundry type scents. Very nice. This is a good performer. I would say six or seven out of 10 in strength. Did this in my laundry room, one cube. Lasted about a day, day and a half. Very pleasant. Not one I'll seek out more of, but it, it's fine. Then in my daughter's room and in my open layout, we did two cubes. I did this in a mix in my open layout with cotton candy cookie. That was very pleasant. So I did two cubes of this in my kitchen with some with six cubes of cotton candy cookie, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I did two cubes of this in my daughter's room as well. This is her favorite bar. This is the Angel Experiment 624 bar. This one has like goji berry and acai or something like that. It smells like cotton candy to me. Like it's like a sweet, sweet cotton candy scent. Very strong, very saturated, really, really nice. So this is one of her favorites right now. So we did this in her room very pleasant. I would say 7 out of 10 in strength, nice and strong, um, like a 24-hour type bar, one day, but really, really nice. This is currently in the catalog, and we will continue to repurchase this. I had this in my club before it came to the catalog, because um, we really, really like this one. So, highly recommend Angels 624. Then in my bedroom, I recently did a mix, and one of the bars is not available, and one is. So I did two cubes of pink leather, which was an August scent of the month, with two cubes of Dashing, which is currently available in the catalog. So Dashing has like fresh night skies, vanilla and mahogany. It is ever so slightly masculine with just these nice cuddly cozy vanilla woodsy tones. It's dark and cuddly cozy and sweet and so, so pretty. Pink leather. This one I think has like strawberry and some real like, again, kind of musky, amber perfumey tones as well. So I thought these would pair well because you got like, they both kind of like look nice together even, like they just, they pair well. And yes, they did pair well. I would say that pink leather was stronger than dashing and overtook dashing a little bit. So I think if I had to do this mix again, which I would do, it was very nice. I would probably throw an extra cube of dashing in just to balance it out. Cause yeah, that is a nice mix together. Cuddly, cozy, soft, very nice for a bedroom. Really, really liked that. This one did go for two days as well. So I would repurchase both of those bars. I really like them. I also have in this video warm reviews of the Harry Potter Honeydukes collection. So I will get to those as soon as I finish the bedroom bars. We'll go to the Honeydukes collection for warm reviews. 
I did a couple of the licensed bars too though. I did two cubes in my office of Violet's Turning Violet from the Wonka collection that was available before the holidays. This is the one that smells exactly like Flintstone vitamins. It just smells like the purple or blue Flintstone vitamins. Straight up. I will say on warm it's a bit better. And it's not a bad scent, it's a weird scent. So it's okay. Is it one I'll repurchase? No. Do I think this would mix well? I really do. I think you could do a lot with this with any of the bakery scents um, to make like almost like a cobbler or some kind of bakery dessert scent. Because it is kind of the scentsy blueberry note, but with vitamins. I don't know what to tell you. It's okay. It's sweetened up a bit on warm. It's not what I need more of though. I will say about a medium strength, about a day. Average performer. Um, Poor Unfortunate Souls, the Ursula Bar from the Villains Collection. This one has been sitting for a bit. It smells nice. It's got kind of a watery tone. I'm not sure what the notes on this are. It's berries though, for sure. I would say berries and like almost like a watery tone. It's very pleasant. Um, I just, I feel like I didn't love it on warm. It had kind of a odd note that came out on warm that I didn't love. It might have been one of the berries. Um, it was about a medium strength, not very long lasting. I would say less than 24 hours. Overall, it was okay, but not one I would repurchase. But I do know some people who absolutely love this bar. So it is one that does have its followers that really, really like it. So I like it better on cold than it did on warm and overall not a repurchase. Next up, we have the Honeydukes collection. So the first one I don't have here because I had taken it for my Wax Wars video because it's Sherbet Lemon and I recently did a Lemon Wax Wars. So you can check that out if you want a very detailed review of the lemon scents that are currently available. But Sherbet Lemon, I would say overall, was a six or seven out of 10 in strength, very long lasting, about 30 hours is how long it lasted. Very, very good. Highly recommend, I will repurchase it. It reminded me a little bit of like a hard lemon candy like a, a lemon, sticky, like lemon hard candy. Very, very good. Like that one a lot. The next one we have here is Fizzing Whizbees, which is the one I did in my daughter's room. This one, I think in the notes, it had strawberry, melon, coconut, and something else, chocolate. Chocolate, strawberries, melon, coconut, and apple were the notes. Yes, and this one, I described it as weird on cold, and it is, it's very unusual. I do think it came to better together better on warm. So I did two cubes of this in my daughter's bedroom and the first day it smelled similar to it the way it does on cold, but I did feel it meshed better because I feel like on cold, I get chocolate strawberry and then I get these fruity notes, but they kind of sit separately. They don't mesh. On warm, I did feel like it meshed. I never got coconut on warm and I never really got melon so much on warm either, but I did get chocolate strawberry and kind of this like sweet apple note. Um, yeah, it came together nicer on warm. On day two with this bar, it was really, really pretty. It was like a, it almost turned into like a white chocolate dip strawberry scent that I got. I no longer got the milk chocolate that I get initially. It turned into almost like a white chocolate or like a vanilla type tone. It was really pretty. And this bar has no white chocolate in it. The orange one has white chocolate notes. I never got white chocolate from that one at all. This was nice. So as far as repurchasing, I'm not sure. I actually like this more than I thought I would. And I may, I don't know. I may get another bar of this. It's not one I would melt or reach for all the time is what I will say. Um, it did do two days. And I would say like a four to 10 strength, about medium, light medium to medium. Um, but is it one I would reach for a lot? I don't know. It was very pleasant though. And it did surpass my expectations based on the cold sniff. I liked it more on warm. So. I did enjoy that one, and I think that one was worth picking up. Kind of fun. Exploding Bonbons was the white chocolate and orange one. I think it also had some other notes in it, maybe mango or something like that. This is a cousin to me to Sunkissed Citrus. It reminded me a lot of Sunkissed Citrus on cold and on warm. Um, I would say it was a little stronger than Sunkissed Citrus. I did two cubes of this in my office. I liked it just fine. Would I get more? Probably not because Sunkissed Citrus isn't a scent I reach for much anyways, and it is available. But if you like Sunkissed Citrus and want a stronger version, Exploding Bonbons is probably the one. Yeah, it's pleasant. It did about 24 hours, about a four to 10 strength. It was all right. So there is Exploding Bonbons. I like that one just fine. 
cauldron cakes I did a full bar in my open layout this is the one that says it's got like cinnamon sugar and cake we all pretty much agree it has some kind of pumpkin note to it um, my husband actually doesn't care for pumpkin scents and I didn't tell him I was melting this he just I just put it in and he came home and he's like we're back on the pumpkins are we <laughs> without even knowing what I put in because he could smell pumpkin for sure and he does not like pumpkin so we were back on the pumpkins it was good this was a good bar I really liked this I got about a medium strength from it but a 5 out of 10 in my open layout I thought it died around the 8 or 10 hour mark but then I left and came home and it was very much a medium still and then it did actually go for two days because the next day when I came home at lunchtime I could still easily smell it as well so this one did I would say like 36 hours maybe not 48 but like 36 for sure did really well and I really liked it it was a nice balance of a classic pumpkin scent like a fall pumpkin and a bit of spice it was a nice nice balance so I think if you liked porch pumpkin but you want a little more spice this would be a, a good one to get and if you like a classic fall pumpkin spice scent you need to pick this one up this is a good one liked cauldron cakes I will probably club this and get a few more bars really like that next my open layout the day before Easter we did a bar of cotton candy tails which was a scent of the month recently this one is like strawberry caramel I get like caramelized sugar and strawberry from this one reminds me a lot of like a spring version of gimme candy it's not quite as strong as gimme candy but it was like a good solid six or seven out of ten in my open layout for a while it did 24 hours it was a day and it did get quite a bit lighter around the 12 hour mark but it did very nicely until then I really like this one yeah um is it a repurchase I do have several bars of this otherwise I would repurchase this I really like this one um but like I said I have a few bars so I think I'm good and I know in the fall I'll get gimme candy so really like that one I think if you like bakery scents or caramel scents you need to pick up cotton candy tails that was a really good one then again in the lead up to Easter I did another one this is from my friend Sarah in New Zealand we did a swap a while ago and she sent me mixed berry pavlova and this one is supposed to be like I think it's like a meringue type dessert with berries and so this is a very pretty like berry meringue type scent it's really nice it's creamy it's sweet it's springtime in a bar um, did this one in the open layout really really enjoyed it it just kind of complemented everything we were doing for Easter activities I really enjoyed this one really like mixed berry pavlova and I think this was a bring back my bar for them at one point I don't know if they have this right now I don't think they do um, but it was very pleasant love that one so thank you Sara and I would probably get that one again if I could um, the next one I did here was cotton candy cookie this was a bring back my bar here a couple years ago I want to say um, this was my last bar of it and this is a bar I just associate with Easter probably because it was part of an Easter collection um, back in the day this one has like raspberry jam marshmallow cookies cotton candy it's just like sticky gooey goodness it smells a lot like those lip smackers lip glosses in the cotton candy flavor back in like the early 2000s so cotton candy cookie is a winner really like this one I wish I had clubbed this because I do like this a lot the thing with cotton candy candy cookie though is I don't warm this anytime except Easter so that is kind of my thing with cotton candy cookie if I saw this on a sale I would absolutely buy a stack of it love this one as far as performance I remember it being better than it was this time this was I would say eight to ten hours at about a medium next up I did a bar of paradise petals this had been I think in the catalog for a while is that right or was this an a valentine's day bar no I think this was in the catalog I'm thinking of a different one yeah this was a catalog bar it's kind of a orange blossom type scent it is a floral orange blossom kind of soft spring floral this was pretty I did this kind of like because it was a nice sunny warm day in spring we had the windows open and this one actually did work really nicely on that day and I don't typically go for floral scents this isn't one I would personally repurchase but I did enjoy it on that day so if you like a nice spring floral paradise petals was nice it is no longer available not one I would repurchase anyways but still very nice then I did a bar of blueberry rush this one got really juicy on me so I warmed this one up this was good blueberry rush is a fantastic performer it was back in bring back my bar I think more than once but most recently a couple years ago this one has I think blueberry I think it's got several different berry notes in it but the primary note is blueberry and it's kind of like a almost got like a blue raspberry tone to it a little bit like I almost get a bit of blue raspberry sweet sugar plum that kind of thing 
Yeah, it's a good one. It's a really good one. Um, strong, really good performer, lasts about 24 hours. It's not crazy long lasting, it's about an average duration, but stronger than average. Really like this one, great open layout bar. And I think if we see this in, in voting for Bring Back My Bar or for a flash sale, I would absolutely pick up more. So that is the Scentsy Wax that I got through. Had a good time warming all that. So then on to, I guess, I don't have any, uh, because my empties that are not waxed today are not Scentsy, I'll save them for the end and I'll do the vendor wax first because, because at least it's wax. Whereas the other stuff is like skincare and body care stuff. So, okay. I did in my bedroom the other day, some melting memories. I had purchased the Valentine Cupcakes, Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Cake, and Pink Sugar. I got this. I used eight cubes of this in my bedroom. So like two little squares of it. Really, really like that. This one is a like strawberry cupcake scent. It's wonderful. I love it. And then I did one cube of Butterfly Kisses from Melting Memories in my bathroom. And I think this one is supposed to be like cotton candy and baby powder. I do not get any cotton candy here. I get all baby powder. But for the bathroom, mixed with this in like adjacent spaces because the ensuite is kind of attached to our bedroom, this was amazing. Love this. We had the lovely strawberry bright bakery and then we had this like very pretty powdery wafting from the bathroom. This was lovely, the way it combined. I love this. So this was a winner. I will absolutely do that mix again. And I'm glad I purchased more Valentine cupcakes because that's a good one. I like that one a lot. As far as butterfly kisses, really enjoyed this one. I don't know that I would purchase it just because I'm not typically a baby powder fan, but I did really enjoy it in this like kind of adjacent space mix. I like that a lot. So liked it more than I thought I was going to. And, it was, and I would say butterfly kisses was quite strong, like seven or eight out of 10 in my bathroom. It's lasting a long time. So performance on butterfly kisses is really, really good. Next up from Melting Memories, I did two cubes of Home Sweet Home. This is one she had sent me, I think back in the fall. This was one of the first ones she sent me, I think. I did two cubes of this in my office. I get kind of like a gentle spice from this. It reminds me a little bit of like Welcome Home from Scentsy, but sweeter and not quite as spicy. It's quite a light scent. I think the notes on this have like graham cracker crumbs and all kinds of bakery stuff, which I don't so much get on this. But the two cubes in my office, I did this and I think I got like a very light, 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 light spice from this. It wasn't super strong. It wasn't super assertive. Um, so this one probably wouldn't be a repurchase for me, but it's nice for what it is. And that is home sweet home. Next up, I did some Teddy Bees. I did a sample from my friend Narina of Cupcakes by the Campfire from Teddy Bees. This was wonderful. This one had like fireside marshmallow, I think. It smelled like fireside marshmallow mixed with like a cake note. It had some like woodsy tones and marshmallow and cake. It was so nice. It was like a nice cozy, cuddly bakery scent in the bedroom, um, but like cozy. I really liked it. I would purchase this in a tub if I saw it available. I liked that one a lot. And that one I would say never got crazy strong, but it was like at least a day and a half. I don't think I would let it go two days, but I think it was at least 36 hours. It was good. Then we have Cozy Lavender Cream, again from Teddy Bees. This one is Toasted Vanilla, Cashmere Cream, and Lavender Marshmallow. And this one is lovely. I love her Cashmere Cream notes so much. Oh, so good. Oh, it's so good. So you do get some lavender here and it does have kind of a toasty cashmere type thing going on. It's, it's wonderful. So I did that in my bedroom. I did one cube in each of my warmers and that one did go for two full days. That was a good one. So really like that. It was a winner. And then I did underoos from Zape. And this one, I think I did, I think I did this in my office as well. Might've been Amelia's room, but I think it was my office. This one smells like Fruit Loops. This one is glazed donuts, fruity pebbles, cotton candy, and vanilla frosting. And this was a gift quite some time ago from my friend Melissa. And this one, I really like. If I was ordering from Zape, I would probably look for this one and purchase more of it. I do like this one a lot. So this one I would say was a like four to 10 strength, about a day, but really, really pleasant. Fun and sweet and just lovely. So that one I would probably repurchase if I could. So that's what I got through for Vendor Wax. Now for just kind of some bath and body stuff I got through. We got through some yummy, yummy, yummy shower gel. This is from Lush. It says, lather up with this sunny strawberry infusion and cold pressed passion seed oil wash for soft, sweetly scented skin. It is the, 
I think they used to have this shower gel and it was called Yummy Mummy for Mother's Day at one point a long time ago. They have this scent in quite a few things. They've had a massage bar called Strawberry Fields in this scent. It's it's the lush strawberry scent. The closest thing that Scentsy has to this scent is like Coastal Strawberry. Reminds me a lot of Coastal Strawberry. Um, it's kind of a light calamine lotion. I get like calamine lotion and strawberry from this. It's kind of a soft powdery strawberry. It's pleasant. We used it up. Um, not one I think I would repurchase. I don't think I would repurchase it, but I did enjoy it. I got this in like a kitchen box as an exclusive item. Another Lush Kitchen exclusive item that I got through was a small shower gel in B Electro. B Electro is the zing of grapefruit sweeps you away to breakfast in Paris while fresh rose petal infusion and exotic jasmine sweeten your skin. So this is a, I would say, mostly grapefruit scent with some very, very soft planty tones. It's very nice. This is a lime green, bright lime green shower gel. Um, and I get mostly like a slightly floral grapefruit here. This is very, very nice. And I would purchase more of this if I could. Um, we really enjoyed this. Then I used up my EOS Evolution of Smooth 24 hour moisture body lotion in vanilla cashmere. This actually made it to my seasonal favorites video for the winter favorites that I did recently. I think that was maybe a month or so ago. Um, this made my life favorites though. This is one of my favorite, well, this is my favorite body lotion right now. I did repurchase it in the scent as well as in the coconut scent. I love this stuff. It makes my skin soft. It does seem to actually seem to moisturize your skin for 24 hours. And I feel like it just does a really good job. It doesn't make me itchy or sticky or irritate my skin like some lotions do. I really, really like this stuff. So I got through a whole bottle of it and ordered more. And uh, highly recommend this if you're looking for a good body lotion. So that is the 24 hour moisture body lotion from EOS. And the scent I like is vanilla cashmere. Then finally, I used up a Sunday Riley Good Jeans like serum. This is lactic acid treatment. It says it has licorice root and lactic acid. It deeply exfoliates for a clear and radiant complexion, visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots and discoloration, instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles. So that is what this apparently does. I love this stuff. This stuff is kind of like my skincare splurge. I used it up. The one thing that does annoy me with this is the packaging. Cause like it's got this little pump and the jar looks like a decent size, but it's actually much smaller than it looks. Like that deceptive packaging. Cause look, it's all thick glass. It's just like a tiny bit of product in there. So that kind of annoys me because it's very, very expensive. But this is the one skincare product that I can actually say I notice a difference when I stop using it. And I notice a difference when I start using it. I don't know what it does. It like brightens and it just kind of like makes my pores less visible. It just, it does things. I don't know. Sometimes you get skincare and it just doesn't really do anything. This does things. So I repurchased some different things this time instead, but I will definitely go back to this once I finish those. I definitely have gone back to this over the years many times. It's one of those things I'll purchase once and then use a bottle and then use other things for a while and then go back and get it again. And I always am happy when I go back and get it again. Um, I would say wait until you can get a value set to get some other things with it to make it a better value. Because if you just get it by itself, it's pretty pricey, honestly. So wait for a Sephora sale, like a 20% off sale or get it in like a, a value kit to make it a better value. But that stuff works amazing. Love this stuff. That is what I have warmed and gotten through in the last week and a half ish or so. Um, I would love to know what you've been warming and what you did for Easter. Uh, we just kind of stayed at home here. We had a little Easter egg hunt in the front yard. Um, you know, fun stuff. I got a six year old, so lots of fun little kid stuff there. And yeah, hope you are doing well and having a great week. We will talk to you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.